Hi, it's Rebecca from A Humble Place, and I'm sharing once again this month's Azure order. This is May of 2022, and I just got done picking it up. It was 10 o'clock in the morning on a Wednesday this time, and our order pickup days have been kind of jumping around. Last time it was on a Sunday, and then I think it was on a Thursday. Um, normally, in the past, they've been pretty regular with their orders, but I think with the growth that they've experienced over the last year or two, um, they're still trying to figure stuff out. So I'm hoping that that gets to be more predictable soon and maybe Wednesdays will be our new order. But this is what we got this time uh, for food. And then I also got quite a few starts, garden starts, and I'll share those too. I didn't get my reminder email for some reason um, that my order was closing. And so I didn't get a, a few things that I had wanted to get, but then forgot to add. I was able to call them after my order closed to add a few emergency things, um, but there were other things that I had realized that I didn't get. So um, this is what I got and we'll start over here. So we just ran out of the ground beef from our um, cow side from our raw milk dairy. So I decided to get some of this that was on sale. I can't remember how much I paid per pound, but it is cheaper um, through Azure than through Vitamin Cottage, which is where we buy it sometimes. So I got 12 pounds of ground beef from Azure, and then I also got a butcher box um, for roasts and picked up some ground beef there. And I'll put a link down to butcher box um, in my comments. I, I talk a little bit about butcher box um, in the post that I had sharing where I like to get my food. Um, I I'm, I'm happy with their beef. I'm not crazy about their chicken. Um, so when I need roasts, I'll get them from Butcher Box, but I'll put a link to that down there. And then I got five pounds of organic white basmati rice. Um, we are just about out of the five pounds that I bought a couple months ago, so I stocked up on that. And then I wanted to give this a try. Um, I picked up some of their um, sprouted almonds a couple months ago and we liked them so I thought we might give their granola a try something to just put in yogurt or cottage cheese or whatever just to have as a snack and then we were out of almost out of our cottage fries so I got a box of 12 of these bags and I mentioned in the past we use these for quick suppers just for like burgers and fries um, at home and Azure actually advertised in their April sale catalog that they were going to be selling um, regular fries, regular frozen fries with no oils or seasonings or anything like that on them. But I couldn't find them on the website. So I'm hoping to try those the next time we need fries. And then I also got some flaxseed oil. This is for salad dressings. If um, you've seen any of the salad dressing recipes in Nourishing Traditions, um, most of them call for flaxseed oil, so I picked some of that up. And then three jars of the Bubby's Lacto-Fermented Pickles. We have these for lunches and snacks and put them on our burgers. And the sale catalog, of course. And then I got five pounds of buckwheat grits. Um, the last bag of buckwheat I got, I did not get a chance to try to make some sourdough bread. Um, so I'm hoping to do that with this, but I also, I think I mentioned this last time to make um, muffins for breakfast. It's buckwheat and oatmeal soaked in kefir and then I just make a big batch on Mondays and we have them for the week. So I decided to get a big five pound bag of um, buckwheat this time just because we went through the other bag so fast. And then I got five pounds of frozen banana slices. We use these for smoothies and breakfasts and things like that. And then um, I got some of the Kettle Care Lavender cream. I use this as a moisturizer. I love the smell of it. I actually love all of their products. I wish I wish that Azure carried more of them. And then these have been out for the last couple of months, so I decided to get a big bag. Normally I get just two one-pound bags of the um, chocolate chips, but I got a five-pound bag, and I'm planning to split this up into little bags, one-pound bags, and freeze them so that we don't go through them quickly. Hopefully this plan works. And then these are all for my husband. These water drops and then the nut pods. These are for my husband. He likes these for his water and this for his um, coffee. And then I got two boxes of the um, One Degree Organics cereal. This one's for me. <laughs> 
although my husband will probably eat it too and this one's for my husband and I like this as, as a snack sometimes just a small bowl um, with some raw milk it's it's very tasty and then he likes this for cereal some, or for breakfast sometimes and then I got um, two pounds of bell peppers these are enormous bell peppers so they only got four and this has been, I've been tracking the price of this. These have been right around the same price as the ones in the store. Um, but I like this because it just comes in a big box and oftentimes they are cheaper. Um, but I am keeping track of that. And then I got one pound of garlic and this will last us a couple months. And then down here, I got a wedge of Parmesan cheese and we just um, grate this over different dishes and it's nice to have a fresh parmesan cheese and then this was on sale i'm pretty sure i bought three of these but i only got one in my box so i need to double check my order um, but these were on sale and i decided um, a while ago that i wanted to make lasagna so we're gonna have some lasagna over the next month and i think that's everything over here and then over here we have starts and they all arrived and they look great um, I just got a variety of different things for myself and then I let the kids look at the catalog and they picked out some stuff too. So in our yard we have a one raised bed garden but then for Mother's Day my husband got me two more um, and I didn't order more starts for the two more so I think we're going to try some seeds um, this year too. But these look very promising and I'm excited about growing some of our own food this year. So. That is this month's order. Um, there are a few things missing, but I can't remember exactly what they were. I actually set a separate alarm for myself for next month so that I don't have to rely on the Azure emails to get my order in on time. Um, so yeah, hopefully that won't be a problem anymore. So uh, I guess we'll see you next month.